Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a moment. Yes, another week of Premier League predictions. Uh, not going to lie, I forgot it was midweek games. So before you ask where those predictions are, I did not do them because I forgot they were midweek games. As I've sat down to record this one, I've realised there was midweek games. There'll be no time we can get it out. So I apologise for that. But um, before we get into game week six predictions, let's look at game week four. So we start off the game week with Man U beating Southampton 1-0. I predicted Man U to win 2-0. So I'm happy with that prediction. Man U still got the win. I predicted them to win, so I'm happy with that. We then had Brentford and Everton drawing one all. I predicted Brentford to win 2-0. We then had Brighton beating Leeds. I predicted a one all draw. We had Chelsea beating Leicester 2-1. I predicted them to win 3-1. So again, I was close. And then the, uh, the maddest result of the weekend, Liverpool 9, Bournemouth 0. Bournemouth fans would have been happy with my prediction if you told them 9-0. Because I only predicted them to lose by 4 goals, not 9. So, Bournemouth fans, pick your poison. We then had Man City uh, winning against Palace 4-2, coming from behind. Bit of a bogey team, Palace for Man City, as, I've, uh, think, as I'm thinking about it. But uh, yeah, I predicted also a City win, just 3-1. Uh, we then had Arsenal beating Fulham, coming down from a goal behind to win 2-1. I predicted 3-1. So again, I was close. I don't mind getting that wrong because I was, I was very close. Uh, finally, West Ham picked up, picked up some points with uh, a 1-0 win against Villa. I predicted us to win 2-0. But again, I'm happy getting that wrong because we finally got three points on the board. Um, we then had another one all draw with Wolves and Newcastle. I predicted Newcastle to win 2-1. And my only right prediction of the game week was Spurs beating Forest 2-0. And when I tell you I got this spot on right, I said it'd be a comfortable 2-0 win and came and get on the score sheet. I am, I'm from the future, obviously, as you can tell. Right, let's get into game week six. Again, no game week five. No excuse, I forgot. I did not know there's midweek games. In the future, I'll, I'll check out for that. So, Saturday, we start off with the Merseyside derby, Liverpool-Everton. They're not going to get the Bournemouth treatment, Everton. But they're not going to win, are they? Let's be realistic. I'm going to go with 3-0 Liverpool. Again, not a 9-0 smashing, but a comfortable win. Brentford leads. Both playing decent football this season. Going to go with a one all draw. Uh, first London derby of the weekend. Chelsea-West Ham. Now, these games are 50-50. We either go there and turn them over, or we get smacked. But... um. Chelsea have been a bit inconsistent. I think we're finding some form now. Yes, it was a 1-0 win against Villa, but form is still form. And of course, with some new signings, I won't go into it. But I can see us I can see, I can see us scraping through. I'm going to go over 2-1 win. Call me optimistic or stupid. You'll mainly call me stupid. But I think, yeah, I can see us prevailing and getting the three points. Newcastle Crystal Palace. Hmm. That would be a tight game, I think. I'm going to go with 2-1 Newcastle. Nottingham Forest, Bournemouth. Arguably a relegation battle already. Some people might say. Uh, I'm going to go 1-0 Forest. I don't see Bournemouth posing much of a threat. And I think the morale is not going to look good after that 9-0 thrashing. So yeah, 1-0 Nottingham Forest. The second London derby of the weekend. Tottenham Fulham. Again, I think Fulham will put in a brave performance... But I think Tottenham will just have a bit too much. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 2-0 Tottenham, another 2-0 win for Spurs. Wolves Southampton. I'm gonna it's not a rogue prediction, but I'm gonna throw a bit of an unusual one. I'm gonna go over 0-0. I can uh, I can see that being 0-0. And then the late kickoff, Aston Villa Man City. Gonna call it here. This will be the game that cost Gerard his job. And I'm going to go with 3-0 City. Villa, Villa are not looking good. And with uh, Gerrard's win percentage being less than Gary Neville's at Valencia, it's the, the hopes are not higher for Villa this season. So yeah, I reckon 3-0 City and a Gerrard sacking. That, I think that might be a bit rogue. I might give him more time. But I predict a Gerrard sacking. Right, Sunday's games. 
Ah, oh, only two. Brighton and Leicester. I think Brighton win 2-0. Honestly, Leicester losing a lot of key players. Their play don't look that good. They look a bit dull, got no nothing about them. Whereas Brighton do. So I'm going to go 2-0 Brighton. And now, arguably one of the biggest games of the weekend. Manchester United and Arsenal. Now, Arsenal on a good run. This is their first big test, if you can think of it like that. They haven't really had a challenge yet. And Man U are coming into form. So for me, this gives me signs of a, of a good game and a draw. I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two. I reckon it'll be a two-all draw. It'll be an exciting game, I hope I hope, I hope so. I mean, Manchester United and Arsenal always produce good games, and hopefully this will be another one of them. But yeah, two-all draw, and uh, that concludes the weekend. For the third time, I'm sorry about the midweek games. I'll be sure to check the Premier League schedule more regularly. And um, yeah, don't, don't blame anyone else, just blame me. That, that was my fault. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, again, like we always say every week, comment your predictions down below and what you thought about last week's predictions. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. See you later.